A group of commuter advocates are calling for a big change. They say the lives of thousands of daily passengers on Metro North are being jeopardized by the railroad's refusal to enforce federal and state safety rules requiring face masks. Here to talk about a letter written to the governor, Jim Cameron, founder of the Connecticut Commuter Action Group. Firstly, thanks so much for joining us. Glad to have you. Thanks. All right. So tell us a little bit more about your letter to the governor and what exactly it is that you're calling for. Well, as you know, ridership is slowly climbing back on Metro North. They're averaging almost 100,000 passengers a day, which is still down. But we're getting a lot of reports from commuters on the trains that the conductors and the MTA police are not enforcing the federal and governor's rules about wearing masks on trains. They're not, they're not recommending this. They're requiring it. The TSA is handing out tens of thousands of dollars of fines to people refusing to wear masks on airplanes. But we did an FOI search and we found out that the Metro North police have issued exactly zero citations for people refusing to wear masks on Metro North. So we're asking the governor to tell the Department of Transportation to tell its vendor, Metro North, to keep passengers safe by enforcing these rules. Uh, do we know offhand, even though it is within their purview and it's their duty to be uh, issuing these citations, are they just opting to kick these riders off instead and trying to deal with the problem that way indirectly? Well, they're not even doing that, which I think would be a good step in terms of getting compliance. They're, in many cases, the, the conductors are not even telling passengers to put a mask on. We've even heard reports that some conductors are not fully masked as well, too. And we've been reporting this for many, many weeks now to Metro North. Metro North keeps saying, well, we're handing out masks, we're running PSAs, we're doing everything we can. But if they're going to leave this to enforcement by the MTA police, they've got to issue some citations and get commuters' attentions. You know, the people that are on the train who are not masked, we don't know if they're vaccinated or not. Even if you're vaccinated, you could get the new Delta variant and be spreading it to others and be symptom-free yourself. This is too important to leave to rider discretion. So we want the governor to get the Metro North to do the right thing. You know, and in that letter you had, and you were just kind of alluding to it there, is that there's, you know, the honor system put in place. You have to trust that people are saying they're vaccinated when they very well might not be. What do you think here in terms of when you're writing to the governor and how to address that problem, how do you mitigate that when you truly don't know if someone's been vaccinated or not? What would you like to see going forward? Well, that's why the masks are required by the federal uh, TSA, by the Federal Transportation Security Administration. That's why the governor's own executive order required masks on trains and promised to issue fines as well, too. But neither of those are being enforced. Without enforcement, riders see other people not wearing masks and they go, I guess I can get away with it. And uh, they shouldn't be able to because they're really endangering all the passengers on those trains. And to be fair, we haven't heard Metro North's take on this yet. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting to see what that uh, FOI request uh, came out with it. There was not been a single one done by Metro North Police, not a single citation. Jim, uh, thank you so much for that, uh, that uh, time that you've taken to us. And uh, we'll see what more comes of this, either from uh, Metro North or from the governor himself. Thank you. Yes, thank you so we'll much. Thanks.